This case is a 35 year old male with ankle pain after soccer injury. The MRI examination uh, shows a torn anterior syndesmotic ligament with edema and hemorrhage in the uh, syndesmosis extending uh, superiorly. The posterior syndesmotic ligament is intact as seen on this image with blue arrow. There is a high grade sprain of the anterior talofibular ligament with partial tear near its uh, fibular attachment as seen on this image with the yellow arrow. The posterior talofibular ligament and the tibial slip are intact as seen here with the black and a purple arrow. There is contusion of the anterolateral and post-remedial margins of the tailor dome, likely sequela of uh, inver inver inversion injury with the rotary component. The MR findings are consistent with the anterior syndesmotic ligament tear. The three ligaments connecting the tibia and fibula are the anterior syndesmotic ligament, also known as the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, the posterior syndesmotic ligament, also known as the posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, and the inner osseous ligament. The posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament includes the transverse tibiofibular ligament, its deep and inferior component, a true posterior labrum. The tibial slip extends from the posterior talofibular ligament to the posterior tibia and the transverse tibiofibular ligament. Patients with syndesmotic ligament injuries present with pain, worse with external rotation. The anterior syndesmotic ligament tears, which occur more commonly than the posterior syndesmotic ligament tears. The anterior syndesmotic ligament tears occur more commonly than the posterior syndesmotic ligament. The MR appearance of the normal anterior syndesmotic ligament is variable, ranging from thick to thin. MR findings in syndesmotic ligament injury include an irregular lobulated contour, ligament thickening, T2 hyperintensity, poor definition of the ligament, or a frank defect with discontinuity. In interosseous membrane injuries, linear T2 hyperintensity is seen between the distal tibia and fibula. In late stages, interosseous membrane hemosiderin, fibrosis, or calcification may be seen.